just spent five minutes plugging in this ring light um that is not turning on anyways i have to go back to school in a couple minutes and i also have 20 percent on my phone battery that's terrifying hey everyone welcome back to my channel i'm out of breath my name is madison and i wanted to film a small writing update just because i haven't posted in like a little bit and i feel like there's a lot to update on and by a lot i mean not that much i just wanted to say some stuff so that's why i decided to just you know get on here and talk for a little bit the only thing i really wanted to touch on was where i'm at in each of my projects i have kind of a lot going on i have two projects that I'm actually working on and then one that's kind of still in the back of my mind. The two writing projects that I'm working on right now are kind of on hold for a little bit just because I had to take some time and re-evaluate my life. I was planning on working on those like during Christmas breaks when I had two weeks out of school but I ended up working on it for like half of the Christmas break and then the rest of the half I had to take a step back and regroup and just get some things right because I was really stressing myself out not because like I didn't like what I was doing or I felt like it was bad or whatever I was on like a good track I just feel like I was pushing myself a little bit too hard just because I was really focused on trying to get words in or get progress made and I was really stressing for no reason if it makes sense. I was kind of shutting down not wanting to do anything like if it can't be perfect I'm not going to do it at all type thing which is a horrible attitude and I didn't want to like stay stuck in that and I just like was not feeling it. So I realized that I should probably just take a step back and you know get back in the right headspace you know spend some time with the Lord that always helped and it really did help because I've just learned how to have peace whenever um things are not going as fast as i would want them to be if that makes sense i always want things to happen instantly if i get an idea i'm like oh my gosh i want to write the whole book now which is not how life works you cannot do that i don't think that's physically possible so i decided to take a step back from writing for a week or so a couple weeks i haven't written um since a week into christmas break and i was praying last night i was like i want to get back in the groove of some things you know start writing back up start making progress again but now i'm thinking about coming at it in a better way um with patience and like peace and not just stressing 24 7 because we're not gonna stress we're not gonna worry about this this is not crucial to life at all this is not like the end all be all or whatever so it just didn't make sense that i was stressing myself out that much over stuff that did not matter too too much and so that's the attitude that i was planning to go into it with which is 10 times better and 10 times more efficient it's so much easier to do things when you're not stressing out and not frustrated over things and so that's what i'm going to be doing going forward but i haven't really made too much progress like writing wise or word wise or planning wise just because i've stepped back and made myself not do it which was kind of hard at the beginning because i was like all right free time i want to write and um i made myself not i made myself you know chill out but um i think it's been good time spent i think that was a really good decision and i'm ready to ease back into you know writing but not as a stress factor more as like i actually enjoy it and i'm going to be a normal person so i did that in relation to both of my projects actually it was my first book i realized that there was a plot hole i was just thinking one day and i realized that oh my gosh that's actually a plot hole and so i was like okay i need to go fix it i found out a way to fix it but i couldn't remember where it would be best fit you know because it's like pushing a puzzle piece into a random spot and so i was rereading it to figure out where would be the best place to put it and i started reading it and i was like i was kind of like oh like some things could be worded better like i feel like that is foreshadowing and that's a good foreshadowing but this is not foreshadowing well and all that stuff i was making like little tweaks in my brain but i was like i actually want to change it and so i made a new doc like i copied it and i started editing it like again yes i did start a new revision round no i'm not happy but i mean i enjoyed it i would rather be proud of my work than let it sit and just ha be a mistake you know and so i started editing it and before i knew it i'm revising it again just because i feel like it and i actually am kind of happy that like, I'm not happy that I have to revise, but I am a little bit happy that at least I've gotten better at what I'm doing in some sense or another, because 
back then I didn't see those mistakes and now I see those mistakes and now I'm like oh my gosh I see the mistakes and I can fix it and I'm a little bit of a better writer and so I'm really excited about that and I'm happy so it's not bothering me too much yes I'm gonna make fun of myself for starting a new revision round when I have adamantly said that I'm never gonna do that again life happens things never turn out how I think they are so that is the current project I kind of gave that some attention this project, this new one that I'm super excited about, super happy about, is in its drafting stages and on the second draft already, and so I'm super happy. On the second draft, and I love that book. Um, haven't given it too, too much attention. Usually I try to like think more about the characters first, give them some time to marinate in my head so that I can, that sounded gross, it's not. I just need time to like, you know, get a feel for the characters so that I know how they would act. I'm writing about people acting a certain way and talking a certain way and doing this, but I don't know these people, so I have to spend time with them in my brain. Sounds crazy, it is. I think that doing that has helped me a little bit, but I still need to spend more time doing that with the characters so that I can understand them and write them better. So those are the only two projects that I'm giving myself time to work on. There's a third one that was in the works, but I got bored, so I put it on hold. This new attitude towards these projects has really helped me. I basically learned like God did not give me the gift of writing and let me enjoy writing just so I can stress myself out over it. That makes no sense. Like he's not made me to stress out. I'm not supposed to worry about this type of stuff. What am I worried about? Agents, this, that, the other, how good the writing is. Like it's just nonsense. It's no need to worry about it because half of it's out of my control. Like he's controlling how good I can write and how much I'm learning. So why am I stressing about it, you know? And I think not letting me stress out about it has just genuinely changed my view of writing and not even just writing, like just everything in life. I used to stress myself out about, I say used to, like I've really like had time to do, I'm still learning <laughs> how to do things, but I tend to stress myself out over like really small things in life and it's just not necessary. It's just not needed um it doesn't help in the gospels jesus said you can't add a single hour to your life by worrying and i think i see that a lot more now it's like if i trust god i don't need to worry i'm working on that that is a new thing new year new thing to learn there's tons of new stuff to learn this year yeah i gotta go back to school because i have early release today and i um what else do i gotta do i don't really know i got stuff to do so i will update with new videos every once in a while i like the vlogs because i can still go about my day and do the videos without having to like sit and write or sit and talk um once i have something to talk about though i will talk about it i'll try and i'm gonna try to keep the videos a little bit shorter <laughs> but thank you for watching and thank you for being invested in my life and what i'm doing and i hope that you're having a great day please like subscribe um comment i love comments more than all of those so do that and i will see you in the next i almost said in the next episode i will see you in the next video have a blessed day bye bye